Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an SU-8, it's the Tier 6 Soviet SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Cliff and it's under the command of the Base Man from Hell. Yep, he's riding in the RT again. Um, we saw him in an RT a while back. Um, we see him in tanks a lot nowadays, but uh, yep, he's in this SU-8. Which is based on the T-28 medium tank. Okay, game started. Now it's got 152 millimeter howitzer, and it's capable of 600 alpha, and that's why this RT actually does have a slightly higher DPM than the M44. Okay, he's extending his aim and looking for a first target, and he's marked the map to tell his teammates where he's looking. And that's a good good job, uh, that's a good thing to do at the start of every game. Tells your teammates where the RT support is going to be aiming. Okay, we've got a VK-301P medium tank. Fires around in, unfortunately it moved just after he fired. But we've got more medium tanks making their way into this, um, this corner on the Western Pass. And it's very important for the enemy team to try and establish dominance in this area if they can they can hinder any chance of defending and we fire around at the whizzy and he got a big hit 298 I think he stripped off all of his hit points left him on only one or two but there is a p43 biz up there with him right down in the past we've got a t29 hiding behind the rock it's gonna land the round in front of him Unfortunately, went in unsighted, so we don't know how much damage that did, but I think it probably would have only been splash. Now, reload time is 17.69 seconds. And, oh, there's that P43 biz. And it looks like um, that Wizzy is hiding now. He's probably so low on hit points, he doesn't want to show his face, just in case it gets blown off. Okay, we switch to a VK3601H in the south. An M4A3 EC2, that's the Super Jumbo. And right at the top of the hill, we've got an AMX 12 time trying to get up on top, but two of our tanks are up there already. About to shoot. Oh, he's managed to get up there. But he won't stay there for very long because there's two tanks facing him. And that was a silly move by the AMX 12 ton because now he's going to get shot to death very quickly. Yep, there you go. He's out the game. Bad decision. If you find two enemy tanks and you're facing two at once, yeah, probably time to go somewhere else. Well, T-34-1 sneaked around the corner and he just got a kill on our T-43. Lining up a shot, rounds out. Oh! Now we hit an obstruction there, some rock was in the way, and that took the shell instead. That's unfortunate. We've lost sight of the P-43, the T-34 and the 131. We've got no shot to the east, in fact the enemy to the east of the Type 64 has just been killed. There's the P-43 bits, lining up a shot, rounds out, looks good, it is good. 252, it's not a penetrating shot, but it did do some damage. As much damage as possible to these tanks, because these are the ones that can actually ruin the game for us. We want to take these tanks out as quickly as we can. And he got another one in, and 260 this time. It's left him on only a couple of hit points. Okay, it's going back to the pass. Nothing down below. There's a T-29 hiding behind the corner. But he really needs to focus on that P-43, the Wizzy-131, who must still be there because he hasn't been seen since. There's the Wizzy-131. Very low hit points. Line him up for a shot. it has got a red line. That's what was causing the problem. There was a red line there. Go for the P-43. Rounds out. Kill shot. 23 hit points. Now, can he get the Wizzy-131? Nope. Pulls back just in time. 
We can't hit the T29, the rock's in the way. He's got some obstruction, which is actually preventing him shooting at the tanks in that pass. But now the T34-1, uh, T44-1, the Chinese medium tank has come into view. Can we get around into him? He's just hiding behind that rock at the moment. We can splash him. It does. If he was still there, he would have been damaged. More rounds going in. Oh, beautiful there. 245. He's wiped out with the next shot by the KV-2. So we're three tanks up on the enemy at the moment. And part of that is down to base man. Because he's got one of the kills. Going for the VK. Oh, he's going to splash it. And it's only a stun. But he's picked up some stun assist. And yes, he got the rest of it as stun assist. And unfortunately, our tanks up on top of the hill were killed. And it's the super jumbos up there now. Which is the wrong place for a super jumbo, really. Ideal place for an E25. But their E25s are down below the rock. Uh, the top of the um, cliff. Well, 5-1 in at... Where the E25 was last seen, it just hits the rock face. Always a good idea to fire up here because we know that an ARL V39 has been seen in this region. Probably hiding behind the bush. Going to put a round in there just to find out. Oh, he was there! It's a direct hit! The shell disappeared without an explosion. Indicates he hit the target. So if the ARL's there at the moment, he's probably still stunned. I doubt if he's going to move from that position. And that probably stunned him again. It's an important position, you see. If he, can't, if he moves away from it, then it will cost him because it means that uh, he won't be able to defend that corner. Note that one hit the rock face. To the south, their VK just killed our own knee. And there's the Super Jumbo right up on top of the rock. That's the Assault Jumbo. Oh my god, he just killed the Assault Jumbo! The shot went into the side. It was a blind shot kill. Right into the side of the vehicle. Now, is he going to go back to the... Um, he was looking at the E25 spot, but he's gone back to the ARL V39. Fires another round into the bush. He's still there, I reckon. Oh, tree went down. And another one. So we know where he is now. He's over this side trying to defend his cap area. I think he's hiding in there because he knows the T52 can see him. Firing another round into those bushes. If he was there, he's suffering from a headache now. Going for the VK. Oh, just took a big dirt from the v, uh, KV-2 and was killed immediately afterwards by our Hummel. Was it our Hummel? No, it was the enemy Hummel killed their own teammate, his own teammate by mistake. We don't have a Hummel. But we fired at the Comet and oh my god, that's a penetrating shot. 597 hit points on the Comet. That Comet's all but gone. The E25, well, he's got a little more in the way of hit points. We fire around at him and... Oh, it's another kill shot. 158 this time. Three kills for the base man. There's the Hummel. Killed one of his own. And now he's out of the game. Now, we know where the RL was last seen. We know where the Comet was last seen. Just waiting for any sign of them. Hopefully the Cromwell will go around the corner and start looking. It's a pity we don't have the Firefly in action, but he's been AFK all game. Mind you, that Firefly is a 49% player with very low ratings, so he's probably just uh, being AFK to earn the free XP for just being in the battle and the M44 has been taken out so the enemy's got no arty but there's their ARL hiding behind the rock face 
Obviously, because we've been hit by RT too much. And there's the Comet hiding behind the building. And the building's been pretty much splattered. Baseman styling in on that corner. If he can get the shot in. Oh, and the Comet goes down just as after his, uh, just before his shell arrives. So, good game there for the Baseman. He could have platooned with that T-52 for a, a um, Brothers in Arms. And here's the end of battle result. Well, it's an ace tanker for the base man from hell in the SU-8. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 17 in that one. And he also picked up a uh, gauze medal for getting at least eight times the hit points of his own vehicle in damage. And a high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle overall. Um... His win eight for the game, 6,413, which is very high, super unicum standard. So let's have a look at the um, team score. Well, there you go, highest damage, 3,072 hit points of damage in that one. Next high score was E25 of 1402, and then after that came the KV2 with 1376. Uh, when it came to kills, though, it was the base man and the T-52. Both of them combined managed to get three kills apiece. They could have got the Brothers in Arms if they platooned, but unfortunately they didn't. Um, when it came to base XP, though, it was the SU-8 of uh, base man who managed to get the highest amount. 1,240 base experience points. It was a tier, uh, tier 8 game. Uh, sorry, tier 7 game rather I should say and so he was earning extra XP for um, uh, every higher tier tank he hit and the T-52 managed to get 975 base experience points he didn't hit as many, do mu as much damage as Baseman did and that's why Baseman came out on top he fired 21 rounds in that game got 9 direct hits and 2 penetrations I wonder which ones they were I think the Comet was one Yes, it was the Comet. He penetrated the Comet. Uh, which one? Which other one did he penetrate? Ah, it was the E25 he penetrated as well. Direct hit, must have been. Um, so, let's have a look. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed three of them, and did 302 hit points of stun assist of 14 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 55,236 credits. Very nice. And after resupply of ammunition, took away 38,226 credits. He picked up four bonds for getting the medals. And he also earned 1,860 XP. But there was no multipliers, so that's all he took away. But he said Russia for the win. Yes, well, Soviets actually, but not Russia. Uh, but I suppose it just it works just the same way. But a very effective demonstration of how the SU-8 is as good as the M44. It's got the DPM, it's got the damage. The only unfortunate thing it doesn't have is a wide arc of fire. Unfortunately, um, that means that you do have to spend more time dialing in on your targets. But uh, when you do hit your targets, it's very effective, as you can see in that battle. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.